that's where to start off with. Thank you all for coming. Um, it's really great to see you all here, and some of you have come from quite, quite a fair distance, so really appreciate you all turning up today. Um, the weather's been brilliant, and you know, it's not that bad, it? so it's turned out really nice. Um, yeah, I'd like to thank Brian and Anne, obviously, for, for letting me uh, marry Claire. And, uh, and everyone in the, uh, in the family and, and friends and that, because the sheer effort that went into today, everything in the barn, uh, is unbelievable. And, uh, I thought Paul Brian was going to do himself in at one stage. It really has, uh, really has put a lot of effort in, I mean, everybody. So, really like to say thanks to, for that. And thanks for the cake, Anna. It's really nice, it looks really good. I'm really pleased with that, and I know you put a lot of effort in that, so. So I'll give you a heads up on that. <laughs> Thanks Mum and Dad for uh, getting to this dump bar. Well, it's not been easy, has it? <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for getting me to this point in life. You know, I'm here, I made it. Thanks very much. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you to Claire for saying yes and making me one of the happiest uh, men alive. I think he's going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Are you alright? Oh, okay. well, but overall, you know, I'm honoured to be uh, very clear in front of um, so many friends and family. Um, I'm glad you're all here to witness one of the happiest days of, of our lives, the beginning of our journey. Um, it's so, so important in life to have great support from friends, you know, loved ones, family and everything, and we've got some of the best in the business, so I think we're going to be all right, aren't we? Overall, yeah, looking forward to the journey ahead of us, and, and you guys all being involved in it, so here's to, here's to our future and everyone else's. Yeah? <laughs> Take a walk. And 
Another classic example of molten is uh, the uh, old skateboard. It's wearing a big black bomber jacket <laughs> with a big skateboard, a big long hill, and uh, I've never seen a human wrecking ball go <laughs> down a, a road that quick. So, uh, yeah, that was what I remember molten for. Um, later on in life, we, uh, we grew up and uh, we sort of <laughs> got our first chance of going to a club together and we were definitely going to get into this club because uh, I, I definitely remember we, uh, I was wearing these white jeans and this uh, silk blue shirt and Martin was wearing a Hawaiian shirt as well. <laughs> Hair gelled up to the max. We, we were going to get in. We looked so old. Apparently the bouncers didn't think so. So uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was quickly put to a halt. And then uh, I finally went off to university and Martin sort of stayed behind at, at Surrey decided to, uh, to try his hand at uh, getting into work. And uh, I've never realised how many skills Martin's had. Uh, I've known him as uh, Martin uh, the Farmer. I've known him as Postman Martin. I've known him as the Stoneman Martin. And I've known him as uh, the photocopying technician Martin. And uh, now, obviously working at the hotel, he's uh, I know now as Basil Ford. <laughs> so that's, the, that's, that's the sort of Martin that I like. Um, and I thought, I thought it was actually pretty crazy moving to Norfolk, um, moving away from home and everything. But I, I realised it was destiny that he was going to be in Clare. And it's, uh, it's obviously come through. So I think that's, uh, that's a good thing. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, that's right. Martin. If anyone knows Martin, he's, he's not exactly the most sort of affectionate person. And I think the, the most sort of uh, caring, affectionate thing I've had from him is a slap the back and a can in the hand and get on with it. So uh, I thought I'd write a poem to describe what I thought of Martin. And yeah, this is your poem, Martin. But it's more of an anagram, really. M is for my best friend. A is for absolutely unfazed. R is for relaxed, really relaxed, <laughs> Captain Relaxo here. T is for a top bloke, I is for slightly indecisive, and N is for now newly married. So I'll move on to Claire now. Um, when Martin first said to me that he, he'd met someone, and she was absolutely his dream girl, absolutely fantastic, I just thought, well, this girl in she have it? Is she real? And then I thought, right, okay, I've definitely got to go and meet her. So uh, I had the absolute honour of meeting Claire about two years ago. I was really high expectations and uh, naturally she exceeded them all. Um, so in keeping, I've uh, also written this lack of it for Claire. Um, C is for caring and she's very caring for Martin. L is for loving. You have to be to be for Martin. <laughs> A is for attentive, whether it be her downfall for Martin or not, I don't know. R is for really, really patient. <laughs> definitely, definitely is your there. And E, I hope, is for everlasting happiness. So, Claire, I couldn't wish for a better person to, to be for Martin. Um, I think you're absolutely fantastic, both of you are. So, I think. Um, and I think Steve and Jackie are actually uh, really thankful that you've taken them off their hands. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> the, the tradition normally is for the best man to give some advice to the newly married couple. And uh, since I'm still to uh, tie the knot myself, maybe slightly sooner, if she has her way, um, I, I, the, the best advice I can come up with is don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> so, basically, it just sort of ends really saying, is on a serious note, to the parents, you've, you've brought up two fantastic individuals, and um, I think it's, uh, it's wonderful that they've actually found each other. And I really wish the best for them and success for their future. So, uh, together as Mr. and Mrs. Tang. So, uh, if you could all join me in a toast glasses. to the bride and groom.
that's why I stress out when I read.